Good morning. Welcome to Simply Jan Homestead. Today is the day I am going to try to make one beeswax candle. And I'm doing it in the crock pot. I've done a lot of research. And I've had this beeswax for over a year now. So time to get out of my comfort zone. Let's see if we can do this. Alrighty, so I did some research and I found that you could use clothespins to hold the wick in place. And um, I bought this crock pot a couple years ago and it cost me $3. See, I, I tried to clean it up, but I missed the spot. I'm a little OCD that way. Even though it's just for wax, I don't want it to be dirty. So, uh, if you can see in there, there's wax melting. It hasn't been in there long. So, what I'm going to do is keep a real close eye on this. I have my little stick here, and I'm going to keep it stirred. The temperature is on low. You do not want it any higher than that. This needs to melt slowly and gently from what I've researched. But you can see uh, it's already starting to melt a little bit. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and I will bring you back as it melts a little bit more and then I'm gonna pour it when it is melted. It recommends letting it sit for another hour and then I can pour it. So, I don't know where that light's coming from. It's a reflection from something. Anyway, I'll bring you back. Make sure you have rubber gloves or oven mittens because beeswax is hot. It's gonna be hot, right? So make sure you have something to protect your hands. I'll probably put those on and then the oven mittens on over those. Look y'all, my first tulip bulbs. Awesome, how exciting. And I have some on here too, on this group. Yay. Okay, it's starting to melt more. How exciting this is gonna be. So cool. So I got this beeswax from Brambleberry and it's yellow beeswax. It smells so good, y'all. Did you know beeswax is a natural filtration for your house? And, um, you know, I wanted to put all the scents in it and everything but when i researched it um it said it's better not to okay let's try this again so i researched um putting scents in in your beeswax you can do it it's not really recommended um because beeswax is a natural air filter filter it infuses and there's a chemistry that goes on and it uh, actually takes a lot of bad things out of your, your air in your house. So I'm really excited to do this and, and have that as a part of our homestead. So if you need pure honey without any additives in it, go check out Brambleberry because they have some really good quality products. And just for the record, even though I'd love to be sponsored by Brambleberry, I'm not. I'm not. But they have great products. You can get soap making uh, kits from them. You can get uh, beeswax. I, I mean, I, it, I don't know, y'all. There's so much on there. But they're a great company and check them out because, <laughs> you know, Maybe email them, tell them to sponsor Simply Jan Homestead. <laughs> All right, so 
while the wax is melting, I had to come out and get some marigolds on the potato bed. So I put them all along the side and along the back and then just around the perimeters. And so now what I'm gonna do is I have an evening sun sunflower and uh, a sunrise sunflower and that'll provide some shade for the potatoes and I'm gonna plant those uh, just a couple in these rows. Well that's good news. Awesome. I have a bee flying around my head too. That's even better news. There's Mrs. Curiosity. She just has to know what's going on in this garden. I came back from the garden and the wax is melted. And honestly, I don't think it's going to fill that container up. Hmm. I'm going to need more. Beeswax has a low melting point, 144 to 147. If it goes over that, discoloration can happen. So keep that in mind. Here we go. I'm a little nervous, I have to tell you. I'm gonna pour it. Move that crock pot. All right, I'm not gonna fill it all the way up there because it says it expands. But I do have a little tin. Oh, I don't have a wick out. That's not being prepared. I didn't expect that to happen. And I, I went ahead and put some foil down and did all that stuff so it wouldn't get on my old tray. Even though it's an old tray, I don't, I want to keep it from having wax on it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Y'all, you going through this with me, y'all. This is a group effort. Maybe I could just put it there. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm working it, y'all. You, you with me here? All right, and then I'll just clip it later. That's what I'm gonna do right there. And hopefully, that will work. Oh, I'm moving the other one, darn it. Okay. There we go. Now, if I knew I was gonna need another container, I would have clipped that down. But I think it's gonna be okay. It's just for me, it's for me, y'all. It's for me, but look at that beautiful color. Oh, I love it. I'm pretty excited about this. It seems to be setting up like it's supposed to, but now it's gonna have to sit 
for, I think it said six weeks. So we'll see if any cracking or anything occurs. You know, it's an experiment. And I'll have two candles for the home. And they don't have to be perfect, right? No, if I was selling these commercially, I would want them to be perfect. And uh, I think it'd be cool to get like a honeycomb uh, mold for it. Wouldn't that be cool? But I'm really, really, really excited. Here, let me take you the okay, other way. So that's, that's not the label. So we'll just, you know, say no. Um, but you can see it's starting to hard, harden. And it's like a rich golden color. But that's really exciting. But as it hardens, it gets that cream color. That's really awesome. Okay, I took one of the um, clothespins off. and I had to move it so it made a little ziggle in it. Wiggle, ziggle. But that's what it's looking like as it dries, y'all. Well, thank you for coming along with me on my adventure and making beeswax candles. I hope you step out of your comfort zone and you try something new. Uh, I will keep you posted and let you know how this is going. But right now I got to get the boss's supper going. Yeah. Y'all be blessed and love well. Thank you so much for following our journey and being the awesome people you are. We love each and every one of you so, so much. And we just can't express our appreciation for the time you spend to watch our videos and come by and, and just have a good time with us. Have a great day.